In Stacking Up today, Scott Bauer, a trading advantage, joins us to take a look at the market. And Scott, what do you think about the trading for here going into really the end of May and the start of summer. It's starting to feel like summer in the market. It, it is, and, and you know we're at the end of earnings season now, so you know I don't want to say take earnings off the table, but we're really at the tail end right. there. Not much economic news coming out this week. You know, there's no, there's no Fed meeting. You know, there's always the, the risk of something happening overseas, you know, with oil, Middle East, this, that, and the other, but really a pretty calm period right here. And I've got to say, and I know there are a lot of people out there that think that our economy is not in good shape, but I've got to say that the market has held up incredibly, incredibly well over the last month, six weeks through an, just a dismal earnings season across mm -hmm. the board, through economic numbers that haven't really, you know, smashed out any sort of uh, statistical analysis here. I mean, GDP is still stuck in the mud. We haven't seen anything that says that we're necessarily recovering, and yet the market has really held in here, Angie. And I think that's a really positive thing going forward. I know there's summer doldrums coming forward, but you know, I really think, and, and again, I'm gonna have a lot of naysayers on this, I think that we are poised, barring any, you know, uh, any international event, anything like that, we're poised for a next leg higher, maybe not through the summer, but certainly going into the fall, into next earnings season. And I want to ask you about this because this is a big trader term, risk on. And it, what that means is people are willing to take the risk to put their money to work in the stock market because there's not a lot of... Where else are you putting it? <laughs> well, and that's the answer. So what do you think? Do you think it is risk, is on risk on right now. It's risk it, on. it absolutely it's is risk on. on. You know, we're seeing volatility, you know, a little bit elevated off its lows with the VIX trading around 14, 14 and a half or so. And we've seen it down as low as 12, but we've also seen it upwards of the high teens and even 20. So, you know, over the long haul, 14, probably still on the low end. So that that is definitely a risk on time. And again, barring any sort of, of international economic crisis that we may see coming out of China, the Mideast, somewhere else here, I do think that the market has actually really put in a nice support area here. You, you know, the last time you were on the show, you talked about Nordstrom. Yeah. <laughs> and I know the stock was just crushed off of earnings. It's on sale now. I got, You like it better. It's, it's on sale now. And Who doesn't again, like a sale? Don't buy it because you think Nordstrom is going up 10 or 20% over the next week. Buy it because it's a best in class and look at it as a six month, nine month investment. And I think there's very little risk to buying a stock like Nordstrom right now. Good to have you on the show. Thanks so much Always for your insights. Pleasure.